Okay, folks, we're back. Now we're going to do another showdown with The Office. This time we'll do it on Jeopardy for the week. This showdown will be between Phyllis Lappin Vance, Andy Bernard, and Kevin Malone. Will Phyllis keep up her winning streak? We will find out either if she'll keep her winning streak going or if she'll get defeated by Andy or Kevin as we begin. And as I honor the life and legacy of Alex Trebek. Much Trebek. <laughs> of course, I can do that Sean Connery voice if I want to. Disable mini games. We're good to go. Let's do this, shall we? Office Edition with Phil Slap Advance, Andy Bernard, and Kevin Malone. Good luck to you guys. Categories, Categories of the Jeopardy round are as follows Animal. Animals, South Korea, South Korea. Steve, Martin Steve Martin movies. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. The Bible. The Bible. And parts of speech. And parts of speech. Okay, All right, Phyllis, you're a champ, so you get to go first. Okay, let's start with Steve Martin movies for 200, please. Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase were these title characters of a 1986 comedy. Phyllis. Yes, player one. What are three amigos? That's right, Phyllis. Um, Steve Martin movies for... In planes, trains, and automobiles, Steve Martin told him, those aren't pillows. Phyllis. Player one. Who's John Candy? Correct. Choose again, player one. Steve Martin six. This 1987 comedy in which Steve played Fire Chief C.D. Bales was based on Cyrano de Bergerac. Kevin. Okay, player three. What is Roxanne? Right, right you are. Let's try okay. Steve Martin for eight. Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt are the parents of an extremely large brood in this 2003 remake. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is cheaper by the dozen? That is correct. Go again, Phyllis. You get to pick again. Steve Martin Grand. Queen Latifah wreaks havoc on the life of straight-laced lawyer Steve Martin in this 2003 comedy. Phyllis. Yes, player one. What is bringing down the house? That is correct. Where do we go, Miss Lap and Vance? Hmm. How about animals for two hundred? The striped species of this mammal is identifiable by the two white stripes down its back, forming a V. Andy. It's player What's two. a skunk? Right you are, and welcome to the game, Mr. Bernard. Please pick a game. Uh, let's try... Animals 4. The cape species of this bovine of southern Africa is extremely dangerous to man and has never been domesticated. Kevin. Let's hear it, player three. Um, what's a buffalo? You are absolutely correct, Mr. Malone. Player three. Uh, animal six. Let's get Kelly's assistance on this clue. The cuddly koala feeds almost exclusively on the leaves of this tree of the myrtle family. Phyllis. Player one. What is eucalyptus? Correct. Go again. Animals eight. On the Galapagos Islands, the marine type of this lizard feeds on algae that it gathers off rocks at low tide. Kevin. Okay, player three. What's a salamander? No, I'm sorry. Anyone? Else? And your Phyllis?
The answer was is an iguana. iguana. Kind of confusing. Animals a thousand. Animals a thousand, please. This small Andean rodent is prized for its fur, which can be gray with a deep blue underfur. Kevin. Player three. Um. What is it? Chinchilla. Mm. That's it. Go ahead, just go again, Mr. Malone. Uh, how about the Bible for two hundred? As Rachel died bearing him, she called him Benoni, son of my suffering. His father Jacob used this name. Andy. It's player two. Who is Ben? What is Benjamin? Correct. Go again, Andy. Player two. Pick again. Bible four. When the Jews of Persia are ordered killed, Mordecai puts on sackcloth accessorized with leaves. Kevin. Okay. What are ashes? You are correct. Kevin. Bible 6. In Luke, Jesus is tried both by Herod and by this Roman governor. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is Pontius? What? Who's Pilate? Pontius Pilate. That is correct, Phyllis. We return to you, player Bible one. Bible 8. The Jews held these people in low esteem, so they're made to look good in Luke. Phyllis. Yes, player one. Who are the Samaritans? That's correct, Phyllis. Please pick again. Bible 1000. The first and second of these books cover the same period as 2 Samuel and 1 and 2 Kings. Andy. It's player two. What are Chronicles? That's right. Go again, Mr. Bernard. Player two, back to you. Uh, how about we do parts of speech for 200? Okay. Parts of speech for 200. Listen to the clue. Dream when you're feeling blue. Dream. That's the thing to do. Dream. Kevin. Yes, player three. What is a verb? You are correct. Kevin. Select again. For... 400, please. Rodney Dangerfield said, When I was born, I was so ugly, the doctor slapped my mother. Ugly. Kevin. Player three. What is an adjective? Yeah. Right you are, Mr. Malone. Okay. Um, part of speech for 600, please. I killed a man in Reno just to watch him die. In. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is preposition? That is right. You get to pick again, player Press one. speech eight. We know you're very smart, but are you smart enough to know? Very. Andy. Okay, player two. What is adverb? Yes. Yes. Go again, Andy. You again. Thousand on two. parts of speech. So when you're happy, hooray, or sad, aw, or frightened, eek. Or man, rats. Hooray, aw, eek, rats. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is interjection? What are interjections? Say it either way, that is right. Phyllis. Player Where one. we go, Philly? Again. Um, South Korea. South Korea for, for 200, please. Okay, South Korea for 200. Listen to the clue. With more than 10 million people, it's the largest city in South Korea. Phyllis. It's player one. What is Seoul? Hey, you're right. Andy and Kevin tied for second you place. Again, player one. South Korea, South Korea four. The 12th century book, Sanguk Sagi, 
recounts the time when this religion came to Korea from India. Andy. Player two. What is Buddhism? You are correct. Andy. Player two. South Korea six. At the 2008 Summer Olympics, South Korea's Cha Dong Min won the heavyweight gold medal in this national sport. Andy. Okay, player two. What is karate? No. Phyllis or Kevin? Anyone hazard a guess on this? Kevin. Yes, player three. What is Taekwondo? Hey, you got it. Two Try 800. Three. This medicinal herb of the genus Panax is native to Korea. Phyllis. Okay, player one. What is King saying? Correct. Thousand. Player one. MacArthur thought the battle for this port would end the Korean War. Didn't work out that way. Phyllis. Yes, player one. What is in Chon? That's you got it, Phyllis. What now, Philly? One. Back to you for our Let's next. celebrate is all that's left. Let's celebrate is all that's left, Phyllis. Let's go 200. Okay, for 200, let's celebrate. The patron saint of lovers is honored on this annual holiday. Phyllis. Player one. What is Valentine's Day? Yes. Right. Pick again, Phyllis. Please pick 400. Player one. Former U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson founded this annual observance devoted to the environment. Phyllis. It's player one. What is Earth Day? You are correct. Select again. 600. Customs on this 121st day of the year include dancing around a pole and giving baskets to friends and family. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is May Day? Correct. 800, please. We return to you. Oh, daily double. Oh, boy. Answer. I think I'll win. I'm going to do it all. All right, Phyllis. What are you going to win? All right, here's your clue. Collecting money for UNICEF on this holiday was begun in 1950 by a Philadelphia Sunday school class. What's Halloween? Phyllis. You got it. Yes. Here's the thousand. Last clue. Meaning a coming, it's the period before Christmas that begins on the Sunday nearest to November 30th. Kevin? Okay, player three. What is Advent? That is correct. That means Andy gets to go first in double jeopardy. Good luck to you guys. These are the categories for the double jeopardy round. What are they? South American, South American countries. countries. Science, adjectives. Science adjectives. Medieval Europe. Med medieval Europe. Now appearing in a now biblical appearing book in a near you. Biblical NHL, book near you. NBA, NHL, NBA, NFL, 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 or all three. All three. And, number and number please. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection. We continue. Andy, where do we start? Let's do science adjectives for 400. Because they're most active after dark, opossums are described as this, Latin for of the night. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is nocturnal? That's right. Go get it, Philly. 800, please. You get to picking pumice, which floats on water because of little air pockets, is described as this, from the Greek for passage. Andy. It's player two. What is porous? Correct. Andy, where do we go? Choose again. Uh, science adjectives 12. This 10 letter adjective describes a medical condition that was present at birth. Phyllis? Yes, player one. What is congenital? Yes, indeed. We return to you. Science adjective 16. Here's Kelly with the clue. 
Hydrogen and oxygen atoms bind tightly together to create water molecules by sharing electrons in this type of bond, from the Latin for strong together. Anybody? Here's it was covalent. Covalent. Layer one. You pick again. Go again. Phyllis. Adjective. Science adjectives for two thousand. Sarcasm aside, this word from the Greek for burning describes a substance that causes corrosion. Kevin. Layer three. What is caustic? That is correct. Please. How about now appearing in a biblical book near you? Hmm. Now appearing in a biblical book near you for for four hundred, please. All right. All right, in a biblical book near you for 400. Listen to the clue. Scary seven-headed beasts are a vision to behold in this book. Andy. Okay, layer two. Where's Revelation? Revelation is right, Andy. A biblical book eight. Ancestor of one of the 12 tribes. Benjamin appears in this biblical book as his mom Rachel dies giving birth to him. Phyllis? It's player one. What is Genesis? That is correct. You get to pick again, player Biblical one. book 12. Let's go over to Kelly. A mosaic depicting loaves and fishes is from an ancient church on the shore of this sea, where Jesus is said to have performed the miracle. Andy. Let's hear it. Player two. What is the Dead Sea? No! Kevin or Phyllis? Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Kevin! Yes, player three. What is the Red Sea? No! I'm sorry. Anyone Phyllis, else you want to try it? Guess on this? Phyllis! Player one? What is Galilee? Hey, you got it. Select again. 1600 on biblical book. Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar appears in this book of the Bible, where he has some dreams interpreted. Kevin. Let's hear it, player three. Uh, what? Uh, who is Daniel? You are right, Mr. Malone. Player three. How about biblical book for two grand? Oh, daily double. Oh boy. I think I'm going to do. Um, I think I'll bet 1200 No, no. Let's do 1800 Here is your daily double clip. The Sermon on the Mount is recounted in books 5 to 7 of this gospel. Oh. Uh, who is. Uh, John? No. Oh, no, sorry. Here's what we were the answer was Matthew. It was Matthew. No, not in connection with me. You again, player three. Okay, Kevin. You're still in command of the board, though. Let's try NHL, NBA, or all three. NHL, NBA, and FL, or all three. Excuse me. Excuse you there, Mr. Malone. NHL, NBA. Highest average salary. Andy. Yes, player two. What is the NBA? You got it. Andy. Player two. For 800, please. Uses a center. Kevin. Okay, player three. What is all three? Hey, you got it, Mr. Malone. Please. 1,200, please, on um, same category. Has no teams based outside the continental U.S. Andy. Player two. What's the NFL? 
Right you are. We return to and then tell two. NBA NFL all three. 16. Plays its championship at a theoretically neutral site. Kevin. It's player three. What is the NFL? Oh. Right. Go again, Mr. Malone. You get to pick for 2000. Player, has canceled an entire season due to labor woes. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is an HL? Good Correct. Player. Pick again, Philly. Player one. Pick again. How about medieval Europe? For 400. Medieval Europe for 400. Listen very carefully. Saint but we're 800. Established Let's go with 800. This city okay. As the first Archbishop of the English Church. Andy. Okay, player two. What is Canterbury? You Correct! Know. Now give me 400 on Select again. medieval Europe. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. Bodium Castle in Sussex was built during the Hundred Years' War to defend England from this foe. Kevin. Player three. What is Germany? Oh, oh no. Phyllis or Andy? To try to come up with a direct response? Andy. Player two. What is France? Correct. Go again, Andy. Player two. Um, you Europe 12. In the 1177 Peace of Venice, Frederick I, nicknamed this for his red beard, acknowledged Alexander III as Pope. Andy. Yes, player two. Oh. Uh. Andy, you buzzed in. Um, uh, what is, um, who is, what is Rossini? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Any other takers? Uh, Phyllis or Kevin? Kevin. Let's hear it, player three. Uh, what is Barbarossa? Yes. You are right. Kevin, where we go, Mr. Malone? You pick Middle it. Europe, 16. We're in love with the medieval French literary work called This of the Rose. Phyllis. Okay, player one. What is... What is a romance? Hey, you got it, Phyllis. Player one, back to you. You're too grand. This dynasty of Frankish kings ruled France from 751 to 987. Phyllis. Player one. What is the caroling in? You hey, you are correct, Phyllis. You again, player one. Phyllis, where do we go? Number, please. For 400? Number, please, for 400. Okay. It precedes minutes in the title of a popular Sunday night TV news program. Phyllis. Yes, please. What's 60? Right. right you are. Number, please, for eight. Once again, player one. Highest number you can throw with just one standard die. Andy. It's player two. What is six? Uh, yes, that's it. Let's go 1,200 on uh, you. Number, next, please. Let's go to the clue crew for this next clue. In target archery, an arrow that hits the outer white ring is worth one point. The inner blue scores six, and a shot in the center yellow scores this many. Andy. Let's hear it. Player two. What is 10? Yes. You're right, Andy. We return to um, player Number, please, 16. Of 80... 800 or 1800, the approximate length in miles of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. Kevin. Player three. What is 1800? Oh. No. Anyone else? Andy.
Andy or Phyllis? Andy. It's layer two. Uh, what is 800? Hey, you're correct. You again. Uh, two. Number please for 2,000. Oh, daily double, Andy. The second daily double. How about 1,800? That's how much you'll go. Okay. Answer this. Barack Obama is officially listed as this number U.S. President. What is the 44th? You are correct, Andy. Layer two. Five South eight. American countries. South American countries is all we have left. All right, for 400 per point. This South American country was named for a man born in 1451 in Genoa. Kevin. Best player three. What is Colombia? Yes! <laughs> 400, please. No, 800, excuse me. Montevideo is its largest city. Andy. Okay, player two. What is French Guiana? No. Phyllis or Kevin? Any other takers? Kevin. Yes, player three. What is Uruguay? That's it. How about player three. 12? This country's almost 4,000 mile coastline is the longest of any in South America on the Pacific Ocean. Andy. Okay, player two. What's Chile? Right. 1600. Player two. It's the South American country whose capital city lies the closest to zero degrees latitude. Andy. Let's hear it. Player two. What is Ecuador? Absolutely right. Last clue. And the last clue for $2,000. Kelly will present this clue. This country, Bahia Mangrove Ecoregion, extends from Rican Cabo to Torosso Santos Bay. Kevin. Player three. What is Serta? No. Anyone else? Phyllis Andy. Phyllis. Player one. What is Brazil? That is correct. An altar. Well, it looks like all three of you are going to be around for Final Jeopardy. Continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. We're back. Final Jeopardy category is... Today is... Artists. Artists. What are you going to How much are you guys going to wait? How much are you guys going to wait, Drew? on the bus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Our final, final Jeopardy clue. Listen carefully. In 1881, he wrote to Emil Zola, I must soon leave Vecoeur, and I'm looking for a pretty place by the Seine. Locked in. Let's take a look at everyone's response. Your response. Kevin's response was, "Who is Claude Monet?" And Ooh, that's right. What was his wager? His wager was three hundred dollars, so he's going to finish with fifty-five hundred bucks. Did you come up? Andy with response? also came up with Claude Monet. He is also correct. And how much will we add to his total? He's going to add four grand to his total, making it fifteen grand. As we go over to Phyllis Lap and Vance. What did you say? Who also said Claude Monet. And well, what was her response. how much did she risk? She risked five thousand, so she's gonna finish the game with a winning total of thirty-five thousand. Alright! Phyllis wins again! Alright! Now I'll see you for my next gameplay, everyone. Good game. Thank you so much for playing.